Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome, welcome to a beautiful day in Roanoke. We couldn't have had better weather, right? And uh, I think that a lot of friends were hoping for this, and it came true, like a lot of the great things we're planning to work on. Governor McAuliffe, Mayor Lee, other elected officials and the staff uh, who took time to be here with us today, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the groundbreaking for the new Virginia Tech Carilion Biomedical Research Expansion. What a crowd. This is great. <clears throat> That's not on script, but okay. This is a great day for Roanoke, for Southwest Virginia, for the Commonwealth, and indeed for the entire nation and world. We are here today due to the contributions of many people. These include the leadership of Virginia Tech and Carilion Clinic, President Tim Sands and President and CEO Nancy Agee and their boards, the vision and dream of for former Carilion CEO Ed Murphy, who sadly was laid to rest just yesterday, and to former Virginia Tech President Charles Steger, and also due to the perseverance of the late Honorable Lacey Putney, the longest serving delegate in the Commonwealth. <laughs> These individuals and many others work tirelessly together with bipartisan support from our governors, congressmen and women, state delegates and senators, state commission of higher education, and this great community to make this vision a reality. This year, 1.7 million Americans will be newly diagnosed with cancer. 600,000 people will succumb to this disorder, 156,000 from lung cancer, 40,000 from breast cancer, 17,000 from primary brain cancers. In addition, over 6 million dogs and many cats will be diagnosed with cancer this year. Based on research done right here, over one-third of the human cases, 200,000 Americans, and several million of these companion animals may be given a new chance to beat the odds. <laughs> 90 million Americans have cardiovascular disease, and over 800,000 will die from it this year. 350,000 out-of-hospital cardiac arrests will occur with over a 90% fatality rate. Based on the research being done right here, all 350,000 of those and over half of those with cardiovascular disease stand to benefit tremendously. 59 million American uh, U.S. adults and children are living with a mental illness, of which 15 million are serious. Based on research being done right here, approximately one-third or five million are very likely to benefit. Over 10,000 babies will be born with cerebral palsy in the United States this year, with over 750,000 currently living with this disorder. Based on research done here, many of those will be able to access new types of care to improve their lives and their families' lives dramatically. This year, 25 million Americans are struggling with a substance abuse disorder involving illicit or prescription drugs or alcohol, of which 3 million involve opioids. Drug overdoses will be the leading cause of death for all Americans under age 50 this year. Many people struggling with these challenges will be able to benefit from the research being done right here. How did this happen? How has Virginia Tech Carilion become recognized on the national and international scenes as a leading force in biomedical and health sciences research and innovation in these key areas? It happened because of the bold leadership and supportive community who had the vision to imagine and the courage to implement an engine of innovation in healthcare, medical discovery, and education. It happened because of the natural beauty, the culture, and the inviting communities ready to welcome an increasingly diverse workforce and population to this area. It happened because two great institutions, not resting on their laurels, but committing to progress, innovation, and partnership a powerhouse academic research intensive university, Virginia Tech, and a leading light in innovative healthcare, Carilion Clinic, stepping out of their comfort zones and embracing each other's cultures. Virginia Tech's culture of invention and its motto of ut prosum, that I may serve. 
and Carilion Clinic's values of community, courage, commitment, compassion, and curiosity. It also happened because pioneers, including faculty, students, and staff, and their families, I want to emphasize that, and their families, were willing to take a risk and become part of something brand new and exciting happening right here. <clears throat> here in Roanoke. <clears throat> leaders, community, and pioneers with an entrepreneurial spirit, bright ideas, unmatched work ethic, and a commitment to serve. Along the way to making such inroads into the health disorders that I mentioned and to improving health for all, a new type of highly cross-interdisciplinary biomedical research institute was developed that not only creates knowledge and invents healthcare, but also trains the biomedical researchers of the future. A new model medical school led by my colleague and dear friend, Dr. Cinda Johnson, was started that is challenging dogma and educating a new generation of scientists, physicians, who we all want to be our doctors. The Research Institute won over $100 million in new research grants, with total research expenditures having an economic impact over $500 million so far. <laughs> several hundred new high-paying jobs were created, several new biotechnology startup companies were spun off from the work at the Research Institute, and several industry partners have chosen teams at the Institute for Investment and Partnership. And that was just phase one in the first seven years. We are here together on this beautiful Southwest Virginia Day to begin phase two. With the strong support of our governor, the legislature, our mayor and local government, Virginia Tech, Carilion Clinic, the business community, and the great citizens of Roanoke and the Valleys. This exciting new biomedical research expansion will house a new cadre of pioneers, leading to breakthroughs not yet even imagined to address brain disorders, heart disease, cancer, obesity and diabetes, infectious diseases, and to break through the scientific boundaries to repair our bodies and our minds enhancing performance and quality of life. The new research building will be a focal point for over 25 new research teams with an additional 300 plus employees. It will embody unique collaborations between biomedical scientists, physicians, veterinarians, and data miners and analysts to bring their creativity, commitment, and dedication to the health science and technology campus for improved human and companion animal health. Coupled with an increasing number of partnerships with industry, spin-off companies, and a Roanoke-based student population that should increase by over 1,000, we are ready to launch the next phase of the public-private partnership of VTCC, that is Virginia Tech, Carilion, and Community. Please join us as we embark on this exciting adventure together towards better health and health care, cutting-edge science, technological innovation, and economic growth in our city, region, and state. Thank you very much. And it's now my great pleasure to introduce Dr. Timothy Sands, the 16th president of Virginia Tech. A scientist, educator, and inventor, Dr. Sands has dedicated much of his career to advancing the impact of research and innovation in public education. Tim. Well, thanks very much, Mike. Uh, you're an inspirational leader. And in fact, um, I see Wit in the back there. Uh, you might want to queue up Inner Sandman because I think this crowd is ready to jump after that <laughs> introductory speech. It feels like it, it really wasn't that long ago when you all, and I wasn't here, I'm sorry to say, but you all came together in a mid-October day in 2008 to break ground on this first VTC building right across the street. It's remarkable to consider what has been accomplished in less than 10 years. One of the best research-oriented medical schools in the country, a research institute that makes a huge impact, as you just heard, a partnership between v Virginia Tech and Carilion that with the support of the city of Roanoke and the Commonwealth is attracting world-class talent to the region, an enterprise that is already making a difference in people's lives through the new doctors who are caring for them and new discoveries that hold the promise of better health and well-being. Imagine the transformation that can come in the next decade. 
I want to especially recognize the work of our provost, Thanasis Rakakis, and his vision of a transdisciplinary research facility that brings together the colleges of agriculture, engineering, science, and our vet med school, as well as the School of Medicine and VTCRI. Thanasis, thank you for your leadership. We envision a future with even closer connections between our Blacksburg campus in the New River Valley and our Health Science and Technology campus here in the Roanoke Innovation Corridor. The partnership between Virginia Tech and Carilion Clinic will advance to a new level. We'll see more involvement from all of the colleges of Virginia Tech, undergraduates and students pursuing higher degrees will increasingly come to VTC, Health Science and Technology campus, and opportunities to interact with world-class researchers and Carilion physicians. Our Blacksburg Roanoke campus will be the nexus of research and innovation that will extend to the national capital region, across the Commonwealth, and across the globe. We have great confidence in this vision because of the strength of our partnership and strength, a strength that is evident in the celebration today. It's important to mention our, our great partners, the people of Roanoke, Blacksburg, and Virginia, the alumni of Virginia Tech, and the supporters of Carilion Clinic. Thanks to their compassion and generosity, we are moving forward together with a vision that is much bigger than a single building or two buildings. Speaking of wonderful partners, we wouldn't be here today without the support of the city of Roanoke. It's my pleasure to introduce Mayor Sherman Lee. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm sure my council colleagues would join me in saying, this is an exceptional day here in Roanoke. And I like to bring it even closer. I like to say, this is a great day for our city and valley. And we're celebrating the expansion of the Virginia Tech Carilion Health Sciences Technology Campus with the groundbreaking of the Virginia Tech Carilion Biomedical Research Expansion Facility in this seven-time All-America City. <laughs> to remind you, the National Civic League has chosen Roanoke continuously because of the good work taking place in our community. As a city, we have been planting seeds for the creation of new businesses and educational opportunities for years. And with partners like Virginia Tech and Carilion, we're certainly reaping the benefits from these initiatives to make our city and the Roanoke region better. The exception of strong growth of the Virginia Tech Carilion Research Institute and School of Medicine is one of the best examples I can give you. In early 2008, a groundbreaking was held for these two entities, a unique public-private partnership between two of the region's largest employers, Carilion and Virginia Tech. The people of the city of Roanoke are proud to be partners alongside you. While the tireless recruitment of research teams to Roanoke and scientific discoveries in the field of addiction, autism, Alzheimer's disease, cancer, cerebral palsy, heart disease, brain injuries, and more, you make us Roanoke proud today as we break ground on yet another facility to further expand your research. Research which impacts the health in our community and around the globe. With your fine work and with so many positive contributions to the vibrancy of the region the long-awaited arrival of Amtrak next week. <laughs> I want to pause on that for a minute. 
Next week, the recent opening of Kids Square at the center in the square, the opening of new retailers, the growth of the craft beer industry, or the addition of new research teams to the Virginia Tech Career Research Institute. Roanoke is better than it has ever been today. With all that you've added to our community, the Distinguished Public Lecture Series, Brain School, a summer science camp for children, a partner in the Innovation Corridor development, or a new scientific discovery, please know how much we appreciate your contribution to the city of Roanoke. Congratulations on your growth celebrated here today. Thank you for your support of our city efforts and for your ongoing friendship. And we appreciate that. And at this time, I would like to ask Patricia Rice, the executive president and chief medical officer of Caribbean Clinic to please come and say a few words. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor Lee. I cannot tell you how great it is to be up here and look out and see what an amazing crowd and gathering that we have. In fact, walking over here, Dr. Freelander said to me, uh, hey, Patrice, why don't you see if we can't get a few folks enrolled in some of our research that we have going on. <laughs> that was ad lib. He didn't really say that. But <laughs> didn't want you to think you were here for another reason. But it really is great to see this, this crowd today and to have all of us join together to really recognize such a successful collaboration between Carilion Cl Clinic, Virginia Tech, our community, and our Commonwealth. But you know, it is hard to believe that it was only seven years ago when we started the Virginia Tech Carilion Research Institute. And with our executive director, Mike Friedlander's leadership, we now have a team of world-class research talent working to explore and solve a variety of health problems in Virginia. And today, indeed, we are breaking ground on an expansion that will double our research capacity. Already, we've seen successful physician-researcher collaborations that have given us new and better ways to heal. Teams are working across disciplines to advance care in ways we couldn't have imagined only a decade ago. Discoveries in seemingly disconnected fields are proving to have great influence on one another. Researchers studying heart cells have made a discovery that may one day help reconstructive surgeons provide better outcomes for women who have had breast reconstruction surgery. And we are finding one-size-fits-all treatments are not the best way to help cancer patients, but that a patient's own cells may hold the key to the best therapies for them. As a result of our partnership with Virginia Tech, we're also using engineering techniques to enhance spinal fusion and giving undergraduate neuroscience students the chance to follow our neurosurgery team all the way into the operating room. You know, a century ago, if you lived past 50, you were lucky. And I recently read that 100 is the new 60. So I'm going to say in the 50s, it's the new 30s. But that's the power of medical research. And by partnering with Virginia Tech, or as Dr. Sands likes to say, by, quote, connecting smart people and brilliant ideas, unquote, we'll continue to push bounds of our knowledge and improve human health, starting right here, right now, in this, our community. So thank you all for being here. And now it's my pleasure to introduce my boss and our President and CEO, Nancy Howe Agee of Curling Clinic. Thank you. Wow, 
wow, what a great group of people. Have you ever given a party? Probably none of, the, none of you will have had this happen, but I always get ready to give a party, and then I wonder if anybody's going to show up. We wondered if anybody would show up. Look at this crowd. You must be as excited as we are. Thank you for coming. This is truly a great day. You know, our ceremony today is more than a groundbreaking. It's also a celebration, a celebration of the extraordinary work of researchers, physicians, staff, elected leaders, donors, and community members whose support has made this possible. Looking back on this public-private partnership that gave us VTC, it seems so easy. It wasn't quite that way, was it, Tim? <laughs> But together we had a shared vision. We had strong financial commitments, real determination, and real leadership by a whole lot of people, and many of them are in this room today. Thank you. Besides breaking ground on our building expansion, today also marks the next phase of our partnership with Virginia Tech that includes launching an innovation corridor that will be home to spin-off research and technology businesses. Together, Carillion and Virginia Tech will continue to advance science and serve as a catalyst to transform our region's economy. Already, our partnership has attracted researchers, scientists, clinicians, and we're improving the health of the communities we serve and the economic health of this region. I'd like to especially thank our board members who are here. Some of them are in the room. Thank you so much for being here. And to thank our state policymakers who over the years have shown confidence in us, first when we told them we had this BHAG, this big, hairy, audacious goal of starting a medical school and a research institute. They believed in us. And then when we went back and said, okay, we're not done yet, we want to build a second phase, and they were right there with us. And especially a thank you to the late Lacey Putney, my personal dear friend, the longest serving member of the Virginia legislature. He was a very special friend to VTC. As chair of the House Appropriations Committee, Lacey secured funding for the VTC School of Medicine and Research Institute, and in his last year of life said to me, this was the most important thing he did in all 50 years in the legislature. Carmela, his wife, is with us today, and Carmela, I'd like you to stand, and we'd like to give you a round of applause in Lacey's honor. Thank you, Governor McCullough, for joining us today. I told him when we walked in, these people were really here for you. And for recognizing, as you have often done, our role that we play in Virginia, proudly to lead Virginia as the brain state. And there's one person, as Mike mentioned, who isn't with us today, but whose presence is very much felt. Dr. Ed Murphy, Carillion's previous president and CEO, my predecessor, envisioned this academic health center that we've become today. Sadly, Dr. Murphy passed away last week, but VTC was among his proudest achievements. And now I'd like to turn to my friend Tim Sands, the president of Virginia Tech, who would like to introduce our very special guest, the governor. Thank you, Nancy. Today would not be possible without the support we've received from the Commonwealth and leaders who appreciate the power of research and education as a catalyst for economic development. Higher education has been a priority for Governor Terry McAuliffe through the entirety of his administration, and we appreciate the way he has worked in partnership with higher ed to advance opportunity while also calling for efficiency and controlling costs for students. 
Governor, we look forward to your continued leadership as the Growth for Virginia program builds on the positive steps we've taken in order to make our great system of higher education even better. We know your driving passion is economic development across the Commonwealth, and today's transformative announcement is Exhibit A for higher education, business, state, and local government working in a collaboration to build the new Virginia economy. So please join me in welcoming and thanking Governor Terry McAuliffe. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sit down. What an honor to be here today. Uh, I cannot tell you how excited I am about today's announcement. As many of you have heard me talk about for four years, building that new Virginia economy, uh, this is a huge part of what I've been talking about the last four years. You look at Virginia today, we're now a leader. We're the number one state in America for cybersecurity companies. We're the number one state in America today for data and data analytics. 70% of the world's data and internet traffic now goes through Virginia. We're a leader on all the unmanned aerial systems and the land and the air and the sea. We are now a leader in the 21st century technologies. But what we're doing here today with this expansion is going to take Virginia to the next level. When I got elected in March of 2014, I went out to a conference. It was early March, and I was on the stage. It was the big biotech conference. President Sands was there. I was pretty jacked up, new governor. I was sitting next to the governor of California and the governor of Massachusetts. In front of 30,000 people, they put up the first 25 states in America for biotech. The guy to my right was number one. The guy to my left was number two. We were not on that list of the first 25 states. This was the Patel report. Then they put up 26 through 50. And Virginia was 47th. Now, I didn't need a phone to call back to Richmond to say this will never happen again as long as I am governor. I called our great president, Tim Sands, if he remembers very clearly, and said we are going to change the dynamic for this state. And it's interesting, I just went back to that conference again. I was back on stage again, and because of the great work of all of you and so many people around the Commonwealth, I stood on stage in Virginia, and I was named the Biotech Governor of the Year, and Virginia had moved into the first place in this country. That was quite an accomplishment, and I want to thank all of you. I know we have our legislators here today because it is teamwork. We've got the business community, our educators, our doctors, our nurses, our administrators. This all takes teamwork. And this expansion is going to take Virginia to the next level. I do constantly, as uh, President Sands and Nancy hear me talk about all over the globe, we are the brain state. And that is something, the moniker that I use all over the globe because we are the best state in America for brain research and we need to have more folks coming. In fact, we did a kickoff here recently, and they had those big machines in the back room, and they said, Governor, you want to get in there? And when they examine your brain, I said, no dice. <laughs> I don't want the gig to be up, man. That thing could have come up. There would have been nothing on that thing, so I didn't take advantage of that. But I do appreciate the great work that Carillion and Virginia Tech have done, the work here, what we're doing up at Inova right now, spectacular on genomics and proteomics. We are a different state today. So this is the next step we have here. But my vision over the next 10 years is to see this all filled out as incubators and startup companies. Because once you bring the research in and those great folks who work in research, all the companies come around it. So I see this, Mr. Mayor. It already is the greatest city in America, Roanoke. No question about it. I can see this now with all of this as a new incubator park to bring dozens and dozens and dozens of new com companies who want to start up, and they're here because of the great work that's been happening here. So I want to thank all of you who have been part of it. We have now taken Virginia to the next level. I'm going to add this to my talking points of 325 wineries, 226 craft breweries, we now have 56 distilleries, and we now have the grad biomedical biotech research facility in the globe, right here in Roanoke, Virginia. Thank you, and let's do the ground bacon.
Thank you very much, Governor, for your kind words and everybody. And by the way, there's a brewery across the street. I'm not sure I'm <laughs> supposed to announce that. <clears throat> We'd like to thank everyone very much for attending this afternoon and watching History in the Making. We invite you now to observe as we break ground for the Virginia Tech Carillion Biomedical Research Expansion. The group up here will gather over by the shovels and get this show on the road. And afterwards, please join us for refreshments in the atrium over at the Research Institute just across the way. Thank you all again very much for being part of this.